Hello, dear friend. This is another lesson for, uh, for Certified Ethical Hacker course. Finally, you reach the main lessons of the uh, Ethical Hacking course. First, uh, let me remind you uh, of some important uh, points. First of all, uh, the, uh, the purpose of these videos uh, is educational so that you can learn about cyber threats uh, so that you can use this knowledge to ensure data security and prevent cyber crimes. Remember that any attempts to uh, infiltrate and gain unauthorized access to other people's data is considered a crime and you should not do it. Well, and uh, the another item uh, is about uh, the second point is that all the things I teach, including testing all, uh, all kinds of vulnerabilities, all kinds of uh, um, operating systems and any others on different systems, even the web, all the goals and resources are my own and blind to me and will never be uh, on other people's system, therefore. Um, therefore, uh, I uh, recommend that you also perform the test in virtual systems uh, or systems that are special for these tests and uh, have given you permission to test. Well, uh, next we have a theory lesson here, uh, which is the same lesson and after that we will uh, enter into practical topics. This lesson uh, focuses on Attack lifecycle, ethical hacking phases, and monitor attack framework that I will describe for you one by one. First of all, I want to uh, teach some items. I, I want to speak about uh, main phases of ethical hacking process. When you want to perform the ethical hacking process, for example, uh, imagine you have the agreement with some organization that uh, you should, this, uh, you should uh, consider and uh, analyze their network for finding some vulnerabilities and uh, notify them uh, for providing the security for that. Uh, you will have and you, you should do five phase for, uh, uh, for performing this ethical hacking agreement. The first item and the first uh, step known as reconnaissance or footprinting. What about that? Reconnaissance uh, means all uh, doing uh, items when you may be, uh, you may be perform that uh, for getting any basic information uh, from the target. For example, I have it, the uh, agreements, uh, ethical hacking with your organization and uh, you uh, responsible, uh, you give me some responsible about uh, knowing vulnerabilities, uh, your uh, website, your organization's website. First of all, I should get any information that I can be uh, reached to them uh, and uh, acquire uh, from your website. For example, uh, website name, website, uh, for example, data center, website IP addresses, or uh, website, or uh, any other information may be on the website, for example, email addresses uh, for uh, personnel, any information about the personnel, and uh, for example, another item is maybe uh, your uh, web servers, operating system, the open ports, and so on. These, uh, the, the basic, not open ports, be, before the open, uh, before the uh, consider the ports. In any gathering any uh, in basic information known as reconnaissance or footprinting. The second step is scanning. Scanning has three main topics or three main category. First, first of all, uh, that uh, is um, knowing and identifying live systems in the network. Um, as I said, uh, I, I have responsible for consider your network based on my uh, ethical hacking agreement. Uh, the first item uh, in a scanning category should be uh, know and identifying the live system in your network. The second uh, part, the second category of the uh, scanning item is knowing about the open ports. Uh, the open ports uh, of, uh, in your uh, computer, in your system, in your network will help us uh, to gather many information 
about which services runs on that and uh, which uh, which ports are, are dangerous uh, about the security, which ports uh, are good, and uh, knowing uh, which ports should be closed, and so on. The third one uh, for scanning category is uh, scanning the operating system for knowing the services, operating systems, the, the uh, operating systems details, for example, uh, security patch file that uh, may be installed um, on your uh, server or maybe not, uh, and, and another uh, such as items for getting any information about uh, your uh, operating system, the services runs on that and so on. The second phase is gaining access. Gaining access means uh, I try to gain access from uh, your uh, your network based on my legal uh, agreements, ethical hacking agreement uh, with you, uh, and I will try to gaining access uh, to, to your systems and control that and report to you uh, these uh, maybe these uh, maybe some uh, information uh, flow or inform data information flow or data flow or uh, maybe there. Uh, some uh, security breach that, uh, that I could um, take control of your systems through that. The fourth is, uh, step is main maintaining access. When, uh, keep in mind, when the hacker uh, can, in, uh, in, can, be, uh, can do intrusion and uh, can uh, enter to, uh, to a system, uh, after hacking, after getting information after uploading or downloading data uh, is, is one of the main uh, items that uh, he or she will do is uh, setting another way for entering into your, into your system. Uh, if the main way uh, is uh, disclosure and uh, uh, closed by the uh, administrator of the uh, network, uh, we called it backdoor uh, as well, uh, it's uh, the backdoor world uh, shows uh, really great shows uh, the uh, the meaning of the maintain of the maintaining access. Uh, for uh, for this reason, uh, one of the main steps is maintaining access that hackers maybe do it and uh, provide another way for the, another way of intrusion to systems for them after. Uh, clarify or after disclosure their main uh, intrusion point. And the five step is clearing or covering tracks. Each system, for example, uh, Microsoft Windows systems have uh, commonly, uh, all of systems have uh, log uh, gathering systems uh, that uh, log and uh, save events, especially security events, uh, when occur on, uh, on the system. Uh, one of the uh, important items that hackers maybe do uh, in our system after uh, hack, maybe try to that uh, covering track or clearing any tracks uh, that uh, he or she is not uh, trackable. Um, and uh, this is another good item I, I want to know and uh, learn is uh, the knowledge we call forensics. Forensics uh, is focuses for uh, uh, tracking the hackers, tracking the crackers, or tracking the cyber crimers, uh, for knowing them and uh, extract any information from the system, maybe help us to track their uh, illegal function, illegal doing, and uh, result to uh, find them and uh, uh, made, make them uh, responsible about their illegal uh, doing. Well, well, uh, this is two framework. Uh, you can see uh, uh, these are two standard for uh, making uh, ethical hacking uh, basic or uh, base of the ethical hacking, the mitra attack and the cyber kill chain 
uh, framework. Mitra attack is a globally accessible knowledge based of uh, adversary tactics and techniques based on real world observation. Uh, this uh, framework uh, base is used um, as a foundation for the development of a specific triad models and methodologies in the private sector, in government, and uh, in cybersecurity, in the cybersecurity product and service uh, community. Uh, with the creation of Mitra attack is uh, fulfilling its mission to solve problems for a safer world by beginning by bringing communities together to develop more effective cybersecurity and uh, it's available to any person or organization for use at no any charge but uh, what about the cyber kill chain the cyber kill chain developed by Lockheed Martin company the cyber kill uh, the cyber kill chain owner and uh, is part of the uh, intelligence uh, uh, drive and defense model for uh, identification and prevention for uh, cyber intrusions activity and the model identifies uh, what uh, what the adversaries must complete what adversaries must complete uh, in order to achieve their objective uh, and it has seven steps uh, for uh, attack and uh, for intro um, the attack and enrich uh, enrich an analyst understanding of an adversary's tactics uh, techniques and procedures uh, you can uh, see all parts of uh, these two uh, famous framework my attack initial step execution persistence privilege escalation defense evasion credential access discovery lateral movement collection exfiltration and command and control or c2 and cyber kill chain contains seven step reconnaissance intrusion uh, exploitation privilege escalation lateral movement obfuscation or anti-forensics and denial of, denial of service and exfiltration keep in mind all of this knowledge uh, the purpose of all of this knowledge is uh, identify you and uh, uh, and you understand and identify any attacks, any uh, cyber crimes to uh, make uh, your knowledge uh, powerful to uh, can be uh, defend against them. Well, let me check uh, Mitra attack and uh, then Mitra attack uh, items and then uh, cyber kill chain attack. The Mitra attacks, if you can uh, see, um, it has many items and many categories. For example, initial access execution. You remember these, that, uh, that was these steps. Well, initial access, the uh, initial phase of access to the target system, for example, for ethical hacking, the content injection. Uh, I, I don't want to read all of, the, all of these items uh, for you. You can easily search uh, the Mitra attack official website uh, to know about them but uh, let me describe uh, a bit of them some bit of them some uh, items from that for example in initial access uh, we have uh, dangerous uh, we have seen dangerous items uh, that the networks is uh, uh, under that or people under that attacks uh, uh, is uh, more dangerous for them. For example, for phishing, for uh, fake uh, web pages, for making web pages, and uh, for stealing any information. Or uh, in execution, we can uh, notify about the system services. Many of the system services uh, are in our uh, server or are in our systems that uh, we don't use it in never. Uh, and uh, when they uh, keep open, uh, it will be uh, intrusion point uh, for us. And I will describe more and more uh, deeply uh, for you in this great course. Another part is persistence. Persistence means make the uh, accessible, uh, make, make the uh, make the access granted uh, to the target system for uh, always for example uh, boot or log on initialization scripts maybe hacker uh, put uh, the uh, scripts in your 
uh, boot uh, in your boot uh, procedure in your boot uh, process and when the when uh, the system each time starts and uh, starting up and log on the process uh, runs and uh, make uh, the access uh, to that system again and uh, make the, uh, make that system accessible again for the hacker King, uh, process uh, maybe uh, you can access to the target system w with the limited user. Maybe uh, you, uh, you can access with the limited user. But if you uh, make that, uh, but if you bypass that limitation of the user and uh, grant that users access to higher level, it calls privilege escalation. And it has uh, many items that uh, may be uh, privileged uh, that user into higher level, for example, uh, create or modify system process. For example, account manipulation and many other items. Uh, other uh, categories, defense evasion or evasion or bypass the security uh, systems that uh, may be uh, find and disclosure the three yet. Uh, for example, if you want uh, to, uh, if you want perform um, ethical hacker project, uh, one of the most important items uh, uh, that you responsible is to evasion the, uh, that uh, uh, organization's security system. For example, evasion antivirus or uh, any other item. For example, evasion firewalls and so on. Uh, that we can uh, see some item about that, uh, such as domain policy modification, uh, the modify and change the domain policy for uh, making us uh, and uh, provide us for bypass that policy. Another item is credential access, access to the uh, credentials, um, uh, keep in mind, means users and password and any other items related to that. Credential access, for example, uh, access to the username and password. One of the famous uh, threats and attacks is brute force, uh, t testing many and many username and password against the system login for finding, uh, finally finding the username and password, the correct username and password that uh, can be logged with that. The other item is discovery. For discovery, uh, any sensitive information, for example, browse information discovery, browser, so, sorry, information discovery. For example, uh, log enumeration. Enumeration uh, means uh, username, uh, password, sharing, and other items. Uh, we can get access to that. Uh, for example, network sniffing. Uh, for uh, eavesdropping the data uh, transfer through the network and sniff that. Uh, I will describe and uh, I will teach you how you will uh, how you will defense about network sniffing with great practical lab as soon in this course in this course in next videos. Lateral movement when the when the hacker uh, successfully hacks the system in our network, for instance. Um, maybe uh, that hacker can, uh, cannot be or couldn't be able to uh, hack other systems, but maybe he or she can use our uh, successfully hacked system uh, for bypassing the security mechanism for entering to, into the another system. For example, making our system zombie for attacking or for true or for make the bridge for hacking or and uh, going su successfully to the other systems in our network. We call that uh, lateral movement or uh, or if I want uh, describe technically it called pivot. Okay, uh, this is the techniques uh, some techniques for lateral movement for example a remote service session hijacking for getting the uh, access to the remote services, for example, uh, exploitation of remote services and many other items. Collection means uh, some uh, uh, gathering and collecting some information 
any other any data information maybe we can access and get and collect them in command and control command and control uh, means uh, when the hacker or when you in uh, your legal uh, ethical hacking agreement uh, when you uh, successfully uh, ethical hacks the systems uh, you uh, if you if you take control of the systems by the command line and sending any commands to the uh, target system for doing doing anything for example maybe uh, you can successfully enter to the server and uh, you uh, you send the commands for downloading some information some data from that service or uploading or uh, uh, getting uh, any information about the username and password etc it's called uh, C and C command and control because the, the target system is under your control by sending the command okay exfiltration means uh, extracting data from the uh, system it's uh, near to collection and near to uh, some discovery uh, some uh, discovery about uh, uh, the system for example network sniffing and in collection uh, in all of collection for example audio capture and these two parts uh, in, uh, concepts are near to exfiltration exfiltration but means uh, detailed data exfiltration detailed detailed data uh, gathering uh, information from the uh, uh, detailed uh, data gathering information from the server or from the target system impact what the uh, hacker uh, doing and uh, working um, on your system what impact and uh, what's uh, its result uh, when he uh, or she hacked our system for example data manipulation may maybe uh, one three it maybe uh, uh, get, maybe get result for data uh, destroy maybe get result data get result for data sniffing maybe get result for data manipulation and uh, many and many um, items for example firmware corruption and so on well this is the first part of uh, my threat attack matrix for windows this is the first part the second part for windows what's that this is the second page of the uh, Mitra attack matrix for Windows. Uh, for previous uh, columns, you can see there is huge amounts of uh, doing items uh, may we can do under our ethical hacking agreement. Another uh, item is Mitra attack matrix for network. That was for Windows. This is for network. For example, uh, the network because it's uh, it's the uh, closer and, and have less items uh, the the uh, the process uh, items or doing any items in each column is uh, have uh, less items initial access for example exploit public facing application or valid account in execution uh, maybe uh, you are under triad uh, command and scripting interpreter in persistence for example uh, the hacker do traffic signaling the hacker um, can doing create account in privilege escalation for account manipulation for uh, uh, making the, the account uh, higher higher level access to the network in defense evasion maybe uh, any other items for uh, bypassing the uh, security items for example modify authentication process for uh, skipping the, auth the authentication process and authorize uh, and skipping authorization and get unauthorized access the credential access for brute force network services uh, for example ssh service for example remote desktop service and so on in discovery we can find uh, many items uh, many items like that the windows matrix uh, such as network sniffing uh, password policy discovery and so on lateral movement is is the same uh, approximately 
collection for getting data from uh, config configuration repository or input captures. For C2 and command control, is uh, some proxy or traffic signaling or non-application layer protocol for exfiltration, automated exfiltration, and for impact, for disk wipe and clear uh, unrecoverable uh, they, all our data in, uh, for example, storage servers and so on. Well, what might I type matrix for Azure Active Directory uh, I recommend you uh, that a study about for uh, Azure, uh, we, uh, Azure Windows operating system. Uh, I cannot describe that in, in here, but uh, recommend some uh, basic to get some basic information about that. This is the uh, other items specific, some specific for Azure, but most of them are same with uh, network or with Windows. Uh, operating system, uh, such as you can see, persistence is create, account, create account, or for privilege escalation is account manipulation, or for uh, defensive agent, uh, same as uh, previous items, for example, domain policy modification, and so on, and any other items. And uh, there is the MITRE attack matrix for mobile. I recommend that uh, study uh, this uh, framework uh, basically not deep. We will, uh, we will teach and learn the, all our items deeply in, in this course and in another course for knowing uh, ethical hacking phases completely. But uh, there is good uh, thing that you uh, study uh, some uh, uh, for getting some basic information about that for mobile attack uh, some uh, items for initial access for example locket string bypass for execution phase is uh, exploitation for client execution or uh, native apis uh, or uh, for persistence for example even triggered execution hijack execution flow for privilege escalation, uh, for getting uh, higher level access to the uh, target uh, phone, for example, exploit for privilege escalation. For defense evasion, uh, the hacker may can do more and more items because the mobile security is not uh, completed now in the world. And uh, except the uh, iPhone and uh, Apple phones, iPhone and, and other operating system, uh, for example, Android and so on, uh, are uh, vulnerable still and uh, should uh, try more and more to make them more secure. Defense evasion, uh, hooking, or for example, masquerading, or any other items. Credential access for clip, uh, clipboard data, credential from password store, uh, for example, uh, if uh, our uh, mobile uh, infected by the malware, by the malware, maybe our uh, sensitive information such as password uh, are, st are stolen and uh, may be sent to the hacker that uh, have access to our mobile phone. For discovery, for example, location tracking is important. Software discovery is important. For lateral movements, uh, uh, um, it's uh, uh, like same as another items. The collection, uh, um, important items is uh, input capture, location tracking, and protected user data may be uh, leaked and uh, get uh, getting access by the hacker. The command and controller C2 web service, application layer protocol, and dynamic resolution uh, and uh, encrypted channel are important, are, are most important, and exfiltration for exfiltrate over alternative protocol is important. Another item for uh, in the, in the uh, MITRE attack framework uh, is matrix for ICS. ICS means industrial control systems or SCADA, uh, commonly known as SCADA by, by its difference. I will uh, completely describe about that in uh, ICS SCADA penetration testing course. Completely, it will be 
very very grateful and unbelievable uh, course uh, because I I have full access to industrial networks and I will teach you completely that how you can uh, find uh, your uh, ICS or your SCADA networks vulnerabilities to uh, protect them and to uh, prevent from the cyber crimes about uh, er, uh, cyber crimes uh, against your network. Well, uh, but let me check this item, uh, this some item in initial access, for example, in uh, industrial network, may, uh, we can uh, point to, for example, Rogu master, master server or master systems. For example, um, Exploitation sharp remote services. For execution, uh, the other item, for example, for graphical user interface known as HMI in uh, ICS networks, uh, that HMI is uh, responsible for monitoring um, any doing uh, um, items that uh, in the network of uh, ICS, the, uh, the HMI responsible for monitoring any process around that, uh, all of the process, not just for information technologies or IT-based projects. All our projects, for example, production line, the, the monitor for production line and any other items. Persistence uh, in uh, industrial network commonly uh, impacts on project file infection. Uh, it's uh, based on the project file infection for getting, uh, this is the most important file in uh, industrial control systems. Privilege escalation, uh, such as the uh, previous items, uh, approximately evasion for evading the uh, uh, security mechanism uh, in the uh, industrial network. For example, uh, evasion indicator uh, removal on, on host. For example, uh, evasion of uh, security any any security system for example security uh, any security items in operating systems in discovery for uh, sniffing the network for uh, sniffing the wireless um, in lateral movement uh, as same as the previous uh, items for example default credentials and using default credentials and so on it's the uh, it's one of the main trees in industrial networks. In uh, collection for uh, adversity uh, in the middle or uh, um, getting image from input output or IO or monitor process state or uh, screen capture from the uh, industrial devices, detects operating mode. There is very grateful uh, items and very grateful uh, knowledge the industrial control system penetration testing it uh, i i sure it will be great course and i will start as soon uh, i think in from the next week i will start that course and i recommend to uh, follow my uh, youtube channel and turn on the no notification uh, button for notify when the course uh, published Inhibit response, uh, response function, for example, alarm suppression, block serial uh, com, Daniel of ma making or performing the Daniel of service attack, root kit, any others. Impair process control for brute force input output module firmware. It is very important when the uh, hacker access to that, uh, it will be download the firmware or it will uh, it will be it may be to uh, complete. Uh, upload the uh, dangerous firmware on the uh, device and so on and impact uh, Daniel of control loss of availability maybe maybe very very dangerous items uh, how um, occurs uh, if the hacker uh, can gain uh, control access into industry into industrial network it is uh, extremely different from the IT network the IT network uh, attack may be uh, just uh, get result of uh, destroying destroying data or uh, sniffing data, but the industrial uh, network may be resulted as uh, exploit uh, for maybe result 
the uh, destroy of the um, of the of a city maybe uh, result uh, any uh, dangerous items so uh, the information security the cyber security for uh, industrial network and make secure that is very 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 important item that i will describe about the completely okay that's all uh, i i hope this uh, information may be useful for you let's go to the another video have a nice time